what were sort of, you know, deciding I'm going to leave a corporate job and give up a paycheck and I'm going to really decide, you know, I'm really going to start my own brand on maybe no money and maybe not making any money for a little bit. I mean, what's that struggle like? What does that look like for you? So the hardest part about that is not sort of succumbing to the pressure of your peers and your family because mm -hmm. they want nothing more for you to be secure mm -hmm. and to do well. And, but risks aren't something that, you know, people are super open to. And I think once I was okay with like saying, no, you're wrong, I can do this. Like, I, I know I can do this. After that, you give yourself a time frame. Like, for me, I had one year. And I, I knew if in one year, I couldn't make any money. I would have to go back and get another job in the entertainment world, which I knew I could do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had great credibility under my belt. And so, for people who want to do something like I did, you have to admit to yourself that you're okay going against the pressures of society because that's it's all in, on it's all on you. It's in your mind. You can do these things. You just have to get over that little hump mm -hmm. and have a deadline. I think that's important. I think a lot of the deadline. You know, I know a lot of people that try to do that try to do something or build a brand and they don't give themselves a deadline and then they find that you know seven years later they're still sort of where they started so I think it and if you give yourself a deadline did it make you work twice as hard because you knew all right I only have 12 months to do this and I don't want to go back and work in the corporate world again this is what yeah. I want to do absolutely I mean you it's it's the story of the American dream like you you usually start with very little and like I'm telling those flea market days it was very little, mm -hmm. but that's how you learn. That's how I learned what sold. That's how I learned how to, it only took a couple months. You can generally figure out if a business plan is going to work within a year. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's something that you don't need, you know, it, it's up, it's, it's, it's not, you can drag out as long as you want, but you know, I think, I, in your, you know, your is bet. this going to work? Yeah. yeah. So once you know, it's just a matter of like working really hard right? and you've got to work. I know you've been everywhere. I mean, I just, I, I follow you on Instagram, so I see all of your like amazing trips and you're always in some really cool place in a helicopter, taking pictures <laughs> of everything. I mean, it's beautiful. And, and what's your favorite place that you've been? What's your favorite series so far that you've done? The most rewarding series for me personally has been Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Just because Antarctica was somewhere where, like, two years ago, people would be like, Gray, what do you, like, what do you aspire to? And I was like, I want to shoot all seven continents. I really want to go to Antarctica. Mm -hmm. And Antarctica was such a game changer. Mm -hmm. I, those images, they look so easy. Like, mm -hmm. they look, like, almost too perfect, but it was really risky. Mm -hmm. We were out there and, like, freezing temperatures and winds that would shift and ice that would shift and like you have no idea like watching a, an iceberg crumble in front of you and like a piece of ice the size of a house dropping and you're just like in a kayak or you know and you're just freaking out because you have it was just a different level of creating work yeah drop you know hanging out a helicopter is scary right. but like there's a certain level of like predicting you, know, you can yeah and with Antarctica it also became a larger statement. It's really about global warming mm -hmm. through, it's a message through artwork that I have not ever been able to achieve before. Mm -hmm. So that was just, for me personally, a win. Even if it like went nowhere, I would still feel like I had won something. But in terms of like what's identified me as a, as a photographer, it, the aerial work has been just like, it's almost like I somehow wiggled my way into this category amongst someone like Slim Aarons, who does, who he was a photographer who shot these like glamorous '60s, '70s pools mm -hmm. with like all these fabulous people and like kind of the good life. Mm -hmm. And I guess I've sort of been able to capture that, but from above. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a, you know, it's not like I'm going around just shooting everything from above. It's right. like select worlds that people and, want to be a part of. Yeah, and I get such a rush doing that. I love going up in the helicopter and like 
it's like hunting. Like I'm up there looking and I'm looking for patterns and like the umbrellas are truly like a geometric thing to me. Like I'm very visual in that regard. And then all of a sudden you find the image and you like just lock your camera in and you just like are just triggering. And you're just like, oh my God, that's a winning shot. I know it. Um, so that sort of work has been fun. It, is what was able that what that's the work that got me to you know around the world right so and right. will hopefully continue to what's next for you do you have a new location you're going to next do you have a new series you're working on I mean what's the next I know I know there's a lot going on <laughs> but what can you share with us at the, is the actual next thing happening we have a what a new brand launch okay so it's switching from a just a photography company into a brand um, at the end of March so. We have products coming. We have really exciting, just unbelievable bits. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yep, and it's soon. It's happening. It's soon. We'll so. tell our viewers where they can go and see your work and where they can buy some of your work. So starting on March 31st, you can go to graymalin.com. March 31st? March 31st. All right. Look out. So. March 31st, graymalin.com.